Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and today I'm going to demonstrate how to put a plaster ring in a wall, a drywall. Uh, I have two tools with me. I have drywall saw and we sell these on our website. These are heavy duty drywall saws that we sell on our website and I also have pliers. I grab the piece of paper out of the trash can and I'm going to be placing the piece of paper down here. What you want to do before you put your P-ring on the wall, plaster ring, P-ring, caddy fastener, we call them all that. You want to measure the distance from here to the ground to match the other outlets that are in the room. Once you've done that, you take the plaster ring, you put it backwards on the wall, and you mark it using your, your drywall saw. Just little holes. This is not a precise science. And then what you want to do, there's my four holes. One, two, three, four. What you want to do is you want to cut horizontally first because if there's a 2x4 there, you don't want to cut up and then find out you got a 2x4. So you want to make sure you don't have a 2x4. If I had a 2x4 and I was cutting it, watch this. Oh, I hit a 2x4, let's say. All I would do is reposition my P-ring to the right or to the left of the 2x4. And then the hole that I just cut, I could just reuse and go in the opposite direction. But since there's not a 2x4 in there, I'm just going to continue. No 2x4, I'm safe. Can I finish it? Now notice, most of the dirt is caught. This is this little trick we use. Uh, just by a piece of paper. Keeps it at least cleaner. Now I'm going to take my P-ring. There's no up or down. Doesn't matter. But it does have these ears. So I'm going to bend these ears in like that, just partially in. I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to bend them down. Most of the time that's sufficient. But if you notice, sometimes they're a little loose when you do that. So I take my pliers. I'm going to hook it into the edge right here. And I'm going to push down on the, the ear that I just secured in all four locations. And then re-push it in the back. And that really tightens it up on the wall. Now I'm going to show you what the plate looks like. And it's done. And you notice I didn't use the level. I just eyed it in. So you just have to have a good eye. I measured the distance from here to the ground to match other outlets in the, in the area. And I only had these two tools. This you can get on our website and of course the P-ring you can buy on our website. This is what the back looks like when you're all done. This is a unique view that you're not going to see. But this is the back. You can see where the ears have been bent down tightened up using the channel lock pliers and it's very tight. And this is just an example. Again, have a good drywall saw. That's what we sell on our website. And these are called plaster rings, P-rings, or caddy fasteners, MP1s. They're all referred to uh, that way on our website, cablesupply.com. Now these open-backed boxes can only be used low voltage. So that's for your computers and your telephones. You cannot use it for 110 voltage. That would be a violation of the electrical code. Again, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and thank you for watching our video.